Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do uh, Gun Honey Blood for Blood issue number three by Hard Case Crime. Um, Titan Comics. Yeah, this one. <laughs> I still don't know. This is Titan with the imprint of Hard Case. I, I just don't know. Nor do I care. Um, because I really like this series. And uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's dive in. So, we have this woman. And uh, the narrative talks about Bert and Ernie. Now... If you are um, watch my first videos of Blood for Blood, issue number one and two, there is an explanation. These are where guys that made drugs and that drugs, this, 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 going back to the past a little bit, you know, about raving, uh, about raving, a rave, and the drug was so good, but, you know, the drug is too good because 47 people are dead. And... Um, yeah, what happened is that Bert and Ernie were just going, you know, they have a, a fallout. They were their own, they were going their own way. And um, yeah, now I'm going to explain a little bit what's happening here. So it seems that um, this woman here, she, so her in the childhood, she was just, how do you say, she doesn't have any parents anymore. And um, even her father was uh, was an orphan, and now she became an orphan, and she she went to five um, how do you say uh, houses in three years, and she uh, run away every time. And then the last um, how do you say family just locked her away because they uh, weren't you know going to let their money check run away. I'm not sure how how it works with adoption, but it's. Probably people get a, a lot of money for, you know, raising a child. I'm not sure how it all works. Anyway, but she also finds out that uh, when puberty came, um, there were other things that, you know, became horrible, you know, when living in a basement for years, if you know what I mean. So uh, she kills this guy and then the police says, slipped on a paintbrush. Would you believe it? Well, uh, she went found guilty, and then she was put in jail, and then, well, she, well, since she was little, she was basically behind bars or, you know, locked away. And then she even stopped talking, and, you know, and, and somebody, a woman came and, you know, played chess with her. They didn't talk, um, but this girl called Philippa, if I'm saying that correctly, beat her. And then at one time, they were, she was released from custody, and she was getting... Shit. There's, okay, there's nudity in here. Uh, she's being trained. And this is the same woman uh, that was part of the police force. So in volume one, she was murdered by uh, the brother of Joanna Tan. Joanna Tan is gun honey. So yeah, there's a story. You want to know that? There's also four issues. I made a review. Check it out and subscribe to all the jazz. And uh, so basically, they, uh, she's being... Is the word indoctrinated, you know, recruited, basically to become a killer. And this is, was the shot that uh, the woman was shot by the brother of Joanna Tan. So, yeah, it all links together. And I like that. You know, this is not just some random girl that was on a, is going on a revenge spree. There was reasons for that. I like that a lot. So she is uh, now in, in this bus where Ernie, uh, along with Joanna, is being, you know, uh, well, not being captive, but she just kidnapped the uh, the truck, and um, so uh, Ernie is uh, not not a bad guy. He's just still making drugs, and he wants to perfect that kind of drug for probably the masses, and you know, become rich again, I guess. But I'm not entirely sure. Maybe he has other reasons. So. Um, then Philippa comes in, and I really like this shot. I mean, we don't see this much anymore, this whole um, perspective, you know, almost 3D. You know, it feels like if you have those glasses on, this, this gun really comes right at you. It's really well done. And um, so, and then she is meeting with Joanna, and there's a fight breaking out. But uh, Philippa, as you can see, she's pretty, pretty strong. And she's throwing Joanna out of the, uh, of the window. And then, uh, you know, is going after Ernie. He wants to escape. And uh, but then she shoots him in the leg. And she says, uh, "They weren't much, my parents. You son of a bitch." 
but they were still mine. So she blames him for making that drugs. Therefore, the, her, her parents um, just, you know, killed, killed, well, being killed because of the drugs. I believe these were her parents and she was being left behind with the, you know, child care, kindergarten thingy. Uh, so parents having fun, but then, you know, killed or, uh, you know, died because of the drugs. That's probably the better explanation. So uh, Brooks comes in. Um, well, basically, this is happening, and she says, hey, um, what are you going to do now, Joanna? People say you can get a gun anywhere, but I really don't see how you pull that off here. Maybe you should look behind you, Philippa. Put the gun down slowly. So Brooks is here. Brooks is um, also uh, partnered with Joanna. He was also uh, in Volume 1. Uh, he and Joanna have a, uh, let's say, on and off thing, fling, maybe. Anyway. So uh, she uh, grabs uh, Ernie and um, she says, I don't talk, take orders from you anymore, assistant director. Yeah, because he was working for Brooks at that time, you know, they all were at the same company. And, and Brooks says, who are you taking orders from these days? My conscience. And she shoots him in the, in the ribs and then escapes on a motorcycle. Uh, I didn't see this coming. Uh, this was pretty sudden. I like that. I like surprises a lot. And um, yeah. So um, also this, you know, this this shot here. Um, like I said, we don't see this stuff much anymore. I like that the artist. Oh, by the way, I forgot. Um, the artist is Ang Hor Ken, and the writer is Charles Arday or Ardai. Not entirely sure. They was also in Volume One. They are a great uh, team, and um, yeah, they're doing a great job. So Joanna, you know, jumps into this. Uh, What's it called? A caravan? A truck? A camper? Not entirely sure. And, and Brooks, again, is uh, staying behind with the dying man. She said, uh, hey, you stay here and do what you can. And, 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 and he says, do what you can. What's that? Why does she always leave you with dead men or dying ones? Yeah, Poor Brooke. Anyway, so she's catching up. Not sure how because the motorcycle is way faster. And, well, it actually happens here. So she pulls open the throttle and she is, you know, driving away real fast. But then Ernie here says, please, it hurts so much. The syringe, please do what you can. So, and uh, he injects him with, I believe it's the experimental drugs that made people die. And he's dying happy. Okay, so uh, Philippa is escaping because, because of this here. And there's a drone here. I'll come back to that a little bit later. So I didn't even notice there was a drone around here. So um, Joanna comes back to Brooks and um, he says uh, he's gone. So is she. Two men dead. One of them wanted a wanted fugitive. Not getting out of this. No getting out of reporting this. Let's make one stop for it. So they take a helicopter again. And remember the, the crippled guy from, you know, um, before, from the couple issues before? And um, he says, you're a fat? He's a fat. I'm just along for the ride. Some ride. So he um, decides to give him his uh, card of the lawyer because he thinks that they cannot book him for, you know, drug traffic. And then she says, how about murder? And uh, so she explains here, Ernie's dead. Before he died, he told me he was planning to reach out to his old partner. Who won one that? Who won one that? His new partner, this guy. You pay to have Bert, Bert targeted. Uh, yeah, so he hired a, a, a gunsman or woman to take out the daughter of Bert uh, to keep them apart. You didn't figure on Bert striking back or on a savvy killing arranging to get paid by both sides. You can't prove it. I don't have to. If you're not in my friend's protective custody, you think Philippa will leave you alive long enough to inform on her? So he caves in and he says, what do you want from me? Everything you want, to, uh, you know where Philippa might be headed next. All right. So going back to Bert, who, uh, you know, is uh, still grieving for his death of his daughter. But then there's some kind of a charity thing going on in Monaco. And there's a prince uh, that wants to be there. It's just probably have to do with money. So um, he gets the photo of Ernie being dead. And he says... Um, Hey, it's enough. He's gone. I'll pay you both, but you don't have to do the woman. It's not so simple. She's still gunning for you. Plan to shoot you in Monaco. 
I've canceled Monaco. I'm not even going. You have to go. I can be ready for her there. If if not, who knows when or when she strike. Tell the prince I'll be there. So he's going to Monaco anyway because Philippa, that's probably the person that contacts her, uh, him, um, you know, wants to settle the score with, um, you know, the rest. Uh, I believe with uh, Joanna Tan. Anyway, so Brooks, he's not off the hook either. You know, remember the, the drone? So I don't know from who controlled the drone, but it seems that the assistant director or director Kruger, he's the, uh, Brooks is the assistant director, he's confronting him and he says, hey, Brooke, you of all people, I'm very disappointed. So we see what happens. So he's being probably being quote unquote framed or he just being caught red handed helping Joanna Tan, who is a fugitive slash wanted murderer, although she's a gun for hire, um, to kill birds. But, you know, he doesn't know that Philippa did that. Still, he's being um, caught and um, he says, I can't explain. And then uh, the director Kruger says, you gun and uh, an badge agent and you turn yourself in for interrogation. And um, and he also gets the call from I want a 24 hour guards on him. Uh, on di assistant director Barrow, former director assistant. I like that. What I like even more is this cool shot. So he's going to jail. She is going on a plane. She is getting ready. And he is also getting ready for the charity. And then this plane. Cool, very cool shot. Very cinematic, very movie-like. Uh, fantastic stuff. Um, so when do you saw a woman smoke and holding a gun here uh, in comics? Probably... Never, or maybe very long time ago. Great stuff. I love it. So meanwhile, in Monaco, um, you know, Philippa is here. Uh, I cannot show you really this because this decides nudity. So um, so this, like I said, the charity is here. Philippa is... Um, oh, yeah, she's still playing for both sides. Now, I'm not entirely sure if she also wants to kill uh, Bert. Because she has also made a deal with the other guys. She's playing both sides, by the way. So she, she's getting paid twice. And um, But then she is... Um, you know, you know uh, these Las Vegas girls? You know, these showgirls? She's um, doing... Yeah, probably not the cosplay is not the word. But she's changing into one of those girls to, you know, infiltrate here and probably take out Bert. I'm guessing. Um... But she's not the only one. <laughs> Joanna is here too, doing the same thing, but they don't know that from each other. Oh man, this is a great revelation. I uh, I really like that. Okay, so you get some unity in here. Okay, but uh, yeah, and that leads us into uh, Gun Honey uh, issue four, which I um, pre-ordered. So I'm I'm getting that hopefully really soon. Uh, yeah, again, great stuff from these great creators. I like it very much. And uh, yeah, there's a little bit of a wonky art sometimes, uh, although the art is, in, in my opinion, very good. I love also the lightning, but this particular shot here, yeah, not really liking that, but that's just really minor gripes. I just, you know, love these cinematic pieces and um, action scenes. And of course, this, this it's pretty sweet. Yeah, overall, Gun Honey, it's actually, in my opinion, worth a buy and not really recommending uh, comics often uh, because my taste cannot be, you know, it's different than other people's taste but I definitely can do, um, if you are into this kind of stories, good art, good writing mature storylines uh, etc, this is the way to go, this is volume 1, this is volume 2 check it out guys and uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time